Good afternoon, friends, families, and graduates. At this time, would everyone who can please rise and remove your hats for the singing of the national anthem. Thank you, you may now be seated. <clears throat> Welcome to the commencement ceremony of the East High School class of 2019. My name is Mallory Fritsch, your student body president, and I will be attending St. Norbert College in the fall. Thank you to Mrs. Karen Eichen and the band for playing our processional, and Mrs. Maureen Schoflat and the choir for singing the anthem. Please join me in giving a round of applause to the members of our graduating class who have all worked so hard for the past four years to be here today. We are gathered here this afternoon to recognize our hard work and dedication, celebrate our accomplishments, and relish in the memories we've made during our time here at East High. Today we start our journey into adult life, equipped with knowledge and support provided by our time at East High. We head into the unknown, ready for new experiences and opportunities. Without further ado, let's begin our 2019 graduation ceremony. I would like to introduce our first speaker, Joel Kiernan, who will be studying for a year in Beijing, China, on a State Department scholarship before attending Stanford University. East High, Class of 2019. We are all about to embark on one of the greatest road trips of our lives, pursuing our post-high school dreams. Anyone who has left for a trip knows the uncertainty in leaving home. Sure, there is excitement for the ensuing journey, but also plenty of unknowns. We, gra we graduates feel many of these same emotions, evidenced by those desperate shouts of, I can't wait to get out of high school, followed by, do I really have to leave? I feel the same. I'm ecstatic for the opportunities this next chapter affords but I still feel doubt. Nevertheless, we are continuing along this road of life away from home. I find myself looking at the road ahead and seeing unfamiliar territory, but I pause to look back and remember life before East. I came from a small middle school and knew nobody at East High School. I was nervous entering East, more scared than I am leaving here. Despite my initial unease, East became more than familiar. It became home. I found a community amid a class singularly cursed by the weather, from a prom delayed by a 20-inch snowstorm, a twice-postponed ugly man pageant, 
a senior send-off forced indoors, and even a flood day, though the underclassmen will have to deal with the extra day from that flood day. Together, we created a community over lunches out at Jimmy John's and McDonald's. We united in folding a thousand cranes in support of a classmate. We represented East at countless performances, meets, games, and even beat West 70 to zero. Through these memories, I found a home, as everyone else here did. I know whatever lies ahead can and will become familiar and comfortable as East is now. When I first read her class quote, I thought connecting dreams and the road that leads you home was a cliche. I realized, however, that homes and dreams are intrinsically tied. Chasing dreams is inherently uncomfortable. I cannot live outside my comfort zone all the time. I need to return to something I know. I must return home. Similarly, everyone needs some form of home to chase their dreams. In these past four years, together we have formed such a home. What is this home? Perhaps it is 1415 East Walnut Street, also known as Green Bay East High School. I won't forget the road to that, though. I made that drive every morning. No, our class's definition of home certainly goes deeper than a physical building. Home, East, is the web of friendships and bonds we've formed. We do not lose this shared home by graduating, however. I know these friendships can and will endure the test of time. We are on separate roads, chasing our own big dreams. Yet, our roads of life run parallel to each other. We are united by the common point of intersection of these roads, East High School. In closing, let me reiterate our class quote. Chase your dreams, but always know the road that will lead you home again. In front of me are 314 graduates, 314 different dreams, and one shared home. That is the power of East. Very different people united together in one community. Together, in the short space of four years, we made a home. We keep the community of East High School even as we depart high school forever. Use the support of this incredibly accepting community as you boldly chase your dreams. Thank you. Thank you, Joel. Now it is my pleasure to introduce East High School Choir, directed by Mrs. Maureen Choflat. They will be singing goodbye from the musical Catch Me If You Can.
Thank you, choir. Next up, we have our second speaker, Nick Klicka, who will be attending NWTC in the fall. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nick Klicka, and thank you for joining me in celebrating the Green Bay East High School graduating class of 2019. To begin, I'd like to address the elephant in the room. Despite my short and skinny stature, no, I am not a freshman. <laughs> Some of you look shocked, but I promise you, I'm a graduating senior. You wouldn't believe how many times I've been asked how my freshman year has been going, but that's behind us now. Now that we have that cleared up, I'd be remiss if I didn't take a moment to acknowledge all the wonderful faculty and staff that have dedicated, dedicated their careers to shaping the minds of the next generation. I'll never get how you guys put up with us every day and want to come back the next morning and do it all again. I'd also like to thank all the parents and relatives of this year's graduating class for being guiding lights through all the drama that comes with raising a teenager. The work you guys do often gets overlooked, but when we look back on where we, where we are today, we couldn't have done any of this without you. As we look back on the last four years, it's crazy to think how much we've grown. While some of the teachers may say that the jury is still out on that, we've all matured into responsible and respectable young adults. You can't really blame them, though, when you see some of the trends that we've went through the last four years. It started with innocent things like the bottle flip and the dab, but quickly evolved into more extreme fads like the Bird Box and Tide Pod challenges. It is actually truly amazing that we are all here today. <laughs> Heading into freshman year, not knowing a single one of you, I wasn't sure how I was going to make friends, so I decided to join the football team. Yes, that's right, I played football. <laughs> that just goes to show how inclusive this school is where anybody can play in any sport or join in any club. Although I only played football for one year, I met so many cool people from all walks of life and made friends that lasted me throughout high school. That spring, I decided I'd be different and join the golf team. I'm so grateful for how welcoming then senior captain Zach Jobelius and coaches Mr. Ryman and Mr. McCormick were to me. Not only did this sport fit my build more, but Mr. Ryman also taught me many life lessons, uh, everything from integrity and how to remain calm under pressure to the importance of not chipping with a bag of candy hanging out of one's bag, and how to restrain oneself when two of his golfers hit the same house with a golf ball. One thing that I think is unique about our class is that everyone was friends with everyone. There really was no separations between the, between the jocks, nerds, band geeks, or preps. I'd even go as far as to say we really didn't have those stereotypes because there were so many of us involved in both sports and the fine arts, along with many other clubs that we just had no other choice than to form friendships with everyone. One thing they told us four years ago at the freshman pep rally was to get involved in as many sports and extracurricul extracurriculars as possible. That we did. Every fall, we'd go and cheer on our volleyball team and destroy the opposing team with our coordinated chance. In case you were wondering, the weight room is that way. We'd go to every football game, no matter the weather, dressed in themed clothes and watch as we beat West High not once, not twice, not three times, but all four. <laughs> then we'd get all dressed up and go to homecomings in groups with our friends, even if we had dates. When winter came around, we'd pack the gym in silence as we watched our boys and girls basketball teams thwart crosstown rival West High in the annual Silent Night game for homelessness. However, basketball wasn't the only thing we crushed West at those nights. We also got to watch the spectacle that was Eli Surgat basically inhaling as many chicken wings as possible as for two straight years. Also, who could forget Turkey Day, where we bid on seniors to make them look as ridiculous as possible for at least one day. Then the spring of junior year came, or what we thought was going to be. We'll never forget the record snowfall that we got that April that postponed and threatened to cancel our prom. Being the stubborn kids we are, though, we did not let Mother Nature ruin our big night. Plus, we're pretty well known for being pretty good procrastinators, so maybe it all worked out for the best anyways. Another prime example of that is how I literally wrote this speech the night before our auditions. But seeing that you're all listening to me right now is a true testament to our class mastering the art of procrastination. 
Now as, we look back, now as we look ahead to the future, not knowing what it holds, it is important for us to remember to chase our dreams, but always know the road that will lead us home again. This isn't just a quote we chose for the sake of having one, but rather a way of life that we should remind ourselves when new opportunities get thrown our way. We are all gifted only one life, so it is essential that we chase whatever dreams we have, no matter how big or how small they are. As Pope John XXIII said, Consult not your fears, but your hopes and dreams. Think, of, think not about your frustrations, but your unfulfilled potential. Concern yourself not with what you tried and failed in, but with what is still possible for you to do. We are all called for bigger and better things, and I have no doubt in the potential of each and every one of you to be extraordinary. As we go our separate ways, therein lies the second half of our motto, always know the road that will lead you home again. We will inevitably meet new people and make new friends, but that's all right, because we've already left lasting impressions on each other and have become better, better people for it. The important thing to remember is that no matter how high you climb or how far you fall, don't forget the journey there and who's been alongside you the entire time. Your family, friends, and teachers will always be here to, to set you back on the right path. Graduating class of 2019, chase your dreams, but always know the road that will lead you home again. Four years have gone by, but the mantra has never rang more true. It is truly a great day to be a Red Devil. Thank you, Nick. Now it is time to direct your attention to our East High Orchestra, directed by Mr. Adam Brown. Wonderful job, orchestra. Next, I would like to give a warm welcome to East High's principal, Lori Ferk.
Thank you, Mallory. And thank you also to our orchestra under the direction of Mr. Adam Brown, band under the direction of Mrs. Karen Eichen, and our choir under the direction of Ms. Maureen Choflot. Parents, <laughs> parents, grandparents, relatives, and friends of the class of 2019, members of the school board, Superintendent Langenfeld, faculty and staff of East High School, and other schools represented here this, this afternoon, welcome to all on behalf of the Green Bay East High School class of 2019. Many of you have been waiting patiently for the past several years of high school for this day to arrive, and so here we are, graduation. I ask those teachers and staff members who have been the honor, who have had the honor and privilege of teaching and working with all these young individuals of the class of 2019, please stand to be recognized for the, your 13 years of educational guidance. I thank you for being here to help celebrate and support these graduates of the two, class of 2019. On behalf of East High School staff and myself, we thank you for the trust that you have given us for allowing us to serve your son or daughter throughout these final years of their K-12 education. As principal of East High School, I've had the privilege and opportunity to work with the, these individuals and to be here today to celebrate all of your accomplishments. There have been many over the past years, and I'm positive that these young individuals will continue beyond the walls of East High. As I was thinking about today's speech, a quote from Lauren Oliver reflected the feelings that most of you probably have right now. As you sit waiting to come up to the stage and receive your diploma, many of you may be thinking, it's strange how life works. You want something and you wait and you wait and you feel like it's taking forever to come. Then it happens, and it's over, and all you want to do is curl back up in the moment before things change. Life is changing as I speak for all of you at this very moment. As life after high school and beyond the walls of East High School begins, you may be wondering, is this really happening? What comes next? Am I going to be able to do this? Now what am I going to do? It is now your turn to determine your next ste steps in life. It is up to you to fulfill your own dreams and desires. At times you may feel as if you're on an island all by yourself, wondering who will be there for you. When you were younger, you only needed to ask someone for help and support, whether it was at school or at home. As the years progressed, you desired independence, and now it will all be yours. Do not think that you are alone and no, one there for, and no one's there for you. There still will be individuals to reach out to when you are in need and who will continue to be there. As your class motto states, Chase your dreams, but always know the road that will lead you home again. East High School will always be that home. Over the past several years, East High School has helped you develop and cultivate your dreams and your aspirations to the future. Through all the twists and turns in your life to come, just remember that once a Red Devil, you will always be a Red Devil. The years that you have had at East will have and will continue to impact you as a person. The values and knowledge that have been pr provided to you do not go away just because you graduate. You may not understand it right now, but when you get older, you begin to understand the foundation that was built by you, by your friends, by your family, and by the staff of East High. When you first came through the front doors of East as freshmen, some of you were nervous, others excited, and yet others scared. 
That first day was the beginning of your individual journey down a path that was designed by you. You made decisions on who you were going to be friends with and those you were not. You decided to push yourself academically to get all that you could or just enough to get by to be able to graduate. You decided what is next after today and begin to formulate the path into your future. Each person's path has not and will not always be smooth nor straight. Life is a journey that needs to be taken by each individual on their own. I was encouraged by my own daughter's graduation and the abilities that this generation has when they put their efforts into their work and dreams. You are that next generation. It is going to be up to you to dream large and make the changes that will be needed around the world. As James Dean once said, dream as if you will live forever. Live as if you will die today. What dreams do you have? Of course, life would be easier for you to attempt nothing bold. Risk nothing that may seem difficult or ignore things that are wrong. Wouldn't that be easy? You wouldn't be disappointed. You wouldn't be frustrated, nor feel like you failed at anything or had any difficulties that set you back in life. But I'll tell you what, that's not the Red Devil way, to take no risk. Take risks to fulfill your dreams and desires in life. East High has not only taught you academics, it has taught you character. Character development through the Red Devil way. Be respectful, be dependable, and be prepared. These ideals should help provide you with the strength and resilience that you will need as you move along your path of life. Take risks on new and bold ideas, even if you might fail or be dis disappointed with the outcome. Failure is not a weakness or a roadblock, but a turn in your path to find a better way. Disappointment is not a setback, but a springboard to a new opportunity to understand the world with a new lens. Challenge those things that are wrong. Make our world a better place. If you don't, then who will? This will not be easy, but nobody ever said that leading was easy. Your character, intellect, and strength will support you through any difficult or challenging situation. And always remember, there is a road home to where you forged your path. Be the heartbeat and strength of your generation and understand your purpose in life. Lead, don't be led. Do for others as you would want for yourselves. Be a hero in everyday life and follow the path of your dreams whichever direction you may go. Keep the Red Devil pride ideals in front of you and stay the course. When you begin to look back at all the things that happened in school, I hope you look back with a smile. That the time you spent at East were years to remember, not regret. That the memories of sporting events and dressing up for games, homecoming and snowball, prom, musicals like Billy Elliot and Chorus Line, and of course, I know every one of you, the dreaded homework and assessments that came along with school that had to come I know it interrupted your social calendars and everything else, but those had to be finished. 
All these memories have developed you into the person that you are today, which makes each of you different. Memories can either be good or bad, but memories they are. No one can go back and change them, but you can use these memories to help guide yourselves down the path of life. Remember, since you are the one in control of making the rest of your life, do life by taking risk, being bold, and taking care of those around you. Once a red devil, always a red devil. The ideals and history that permeates through our building, throughout our, our community is quite amazing. You, the class of 2019, are now part of this rich history. Each class, its own distinguishing characteristics, and this class is no different. This class has shown that you will make a difference by taking risks, being bold, and respecting of individuals, no matter who they are or what they do. The three pillars of the Red Devil Pride, be, re be respectful, be dependable, and be prepared, have been weaved in everything that you did as a student. These pillars will have more meaning as life goes on. As you move into this next stage of your life, remember to keep your home in mind, East High School and your community. Sitting around you are classmates that you have been with for 13 years, or some for just a short time. What you are and or what you and or your classmates going to be remembered for East High. What does the future hold for you individually or as a class? I know that East High School will be a part of who you are as a person and remember to chase your dreams. However, however, don't forget your way home. Each of you will always be a red devil. Our rich history and tradition continues to live and breathe with you, the graduates. As a song from Wicked goes, people come into our lives for a reason. Because I knew you, I've changed for the better. I have been changed for good. I hope you feel the same. Dream as you live forever. Go out and change the world as all of us know and believe you will do. Dr. Langenfeld, upon the endorsement of faculty of East High School, who have expressed full faith and confidence in the achievements of this class, and who have also verified the successful completion of their K-12 program of learning, I am honored to recommend to you the Green Bay East High School Class of 2019. Thank you, Principal Ferk, and thank you. Good afternoon. I'd like to share a few words before I accept the class on behalf of the Board of Education in the Green Bay Area Public Schools. When I think about graduation, I think about it as a time to honor, to recognize, to celebrate the many, many accomplishments of the students that sit before us today. It is a time for parents, grandparents, guardians, family, and educators to all reflect on their journey and the dreams we hold for you today, for the future. I personally want to thank each of you for your contributions that you've made to support the graduates we celebrate today, ensuring that they have a very bright and vibrant, successful future. This year's graduating class represents our most diverse senior class to date. They've had the opportunity to learn with and from each other about the world around them, They've been afforded the opportunity to expand their knowledge of cultures, gain greater understandings of others' perspectives, and are better able to view their experiences in a larger, more global context. And like you graduates of the class of 2019, I too have been on an educational journey. You have inspired me. 
and I have been humbled and honored to serve and support you these many years. I'd like to share three lessons with you that I've learned from you. Lesson number one is to be present. Several years ago, I had the opportunity to celebrate an early graduation with a critically ill student a few short weeks before the actual scheduled ceremony. And during graduation and later at the celebration of life, I came to learn a lot about this young man and how he lived. You see, he didn't spend a whole lot of time worrying about others and that he, things that he couldn't control and what others think. He spent his life being present. He lived his life in the present and in the moment. And he was all about people. He was all about the world and experiencing the world in which he lived. His friends shared stories about how inclusive he was, noting that he valued everyone he met, and he was always interested in learning more about the people that he met. He was kind, and he was always the first to notice and greet the new student who was sitting alone in the cafeteria. As I think about the lesson learned from this young man, I keep thinking about the importance of being true to yourself, recognizing and acting upon what's most important to you and putting your focus in on being present for yourself and for each other. Lesson number two. When I graduated from high school, this was a lesson, and it's a lesson that I have witnessed over and over these years through students. Love for humanity. I think John Lennon and Paul McCartney said it best. Love is all you need. Over the years, I have had the privilege of witnessing large and small gestures of love by our students, each impacting someone's life for the better. At East High School, one of our graduates and his brother started the Green Bay Shoe Closet, a nonprofit to raise funds to provide proper running shoes to those students who may not have been able to afford them. At East High School, a football player who saw a wheelchair-bound student manager from the opposing team sitting off to the sideline at the end of the game, walked over to that student and shook his hand because he was part of the team. And he called over his teammates to follow suit. And then there are the students who welcome, students who come to school new to the country and take the time and the interest to get to know the other person. These are just some of the many examples that I have witnessed through the years as I've watched the students from East High School go through their grade school, middle school, and high school careers. The learning, the learning for all of us, as you move through this life, do it with an open heart and an open mind, loving and supporting one another in the journey. And as Lennon McCartney would say, it's easy, it's easy. All you need is love, love, love is all you need. And then the last but certainly not least lesson that I have learned from our students is how they overcome adversity. You know, I'm not aware of a single person who's gone through life without some sort of adversity, and this includes the members of the graduating class of 2019. Each student we honor today has their story to tell how they have personally overcome some sort of adversity to get to this important milestone. Students, over these years, I have been inspired and in awe of some of the obstacles that you have overcome. We can all learn from their stories as they are examples of courage, of grit, of perseverance, of tenacity, of strength, sometimes beyond imagination beyond measure. Here's just a couple of examples I've witnessed. Some of our graduates we honor today were born in other countries and came to the United States. I'm humbled when I think about these students who had to start anew, learning another language, understanding a new culture, new celebrations, how to do American schools, and of course, learning about our weather, the frozen tundra we fondly call home all the while successfully achieving their academic goals and dreams. One can only imagine the adversity that these students have overcome. Some members of the class of 2019 have moved around throughout their educational experience many times. And every time they enter a new school, they have to hit that reset button, 
requiring them to make new friends, fit into a culture of school while maintaining their studies. I continue to be amazed at just how adaptable and resilient our students are. And then some of our students in the graduating class of 2019 have overcome either physical or mental health challenges. And I would offer this. What is common among the students in this graduating class is that they have an undeniable spirit that the challenges that they might face and are facing will not define them, will not stop them from achieving their hopes and dreams for a very, very bright future. Successfully overcoming adversity requires an individual to have a mindset that acknowledges the adversity and believes and believes that any and all adversity can be overcome. Anything is possible. I think our graduates, ladies and gentlemen, are pretty awesome teachers. I hope you agree with me. In closing, I want to extend gratitude to you, the graduating class of 2019 from East High School. Thank you. Thank you for being so inspirational. My hope for all of you is that you're able to live and live well being present, being true to yourself, and embracing what you've learned throughout this journey and the world around you. My hope is that you remember to see and embrace the world with an open heart and an open mind, engaging in meaningful gestures rooted in love of humankind. And finally, my hope is that you embrace all adversity as a learning opportunity, recognizing that how you frame it is what matters most. I am grateful to each of you. Thank you for teaching us these important lessons. I'm very proud of you. And most of all, I am very, very encouraged that you are our future. Congratulations, class of 2019. And now, Principal Ferk. On behalf of the Board of Education and representing our board today, our trustees, Eric Vanden Heuvel, and Laura McCoy and the administration. It is my honor to accept the graduating class from East High School for having fulfilled the requirements for graduation set by the Green Bay Area Public Schools and the great state of Wisconsin. Congratulations, class of 2019. Honor Guard, please prepare the graduates for diploma distribution. Mallory Elizabeth Fritch. Joel Xavier Kiernan. Nicholas Gerald Klicka. Yuliza Aguilar Morales. Kader Abdi Ahmed. Leslie Alamo. Fatumo Alawi. Rama Alawi. Roberto Carlos Alcala Nieves. Faiza Bill Ali. Aureli Vihar Alvarez. Violet Marguerite Anderson. 
Estefania Aragon. Nicole Dakota Arana. Marie Carmen Arcos Flores. What? Pedro, no. Jessica? Jessica Barrientos Ramirez. Estefania Aragon. Yeah, you can go. Nicole Dakota Arana. Marie Carmen Arcos Flores. Pedro Arsola Capiz. Olivia Eve Ashikino. Cecilia Ann Austin. Brianna Rose Bader. Andrew Babe. Morgan Marie Berenwald. Margarita Barrera Valencia. Nathaniel James Basildua. Javier Inocencio Becerra Borquez. Faith Burnt. Damien Robert Billado. Samuel Birmingham. Kalante Londell Devon Boyd. Caitlin Jean Brabbit. Andrea Marie Brees. Melissa Catherine Bunker. Margarita Jacqueline Bustamante. Michelle Leon Cardona. Karina Carreno. Raul Castro Garcia. Michael Cha. LaDonna Marie Chambers. Isabel Charlier. Adrian Joseph Chavours. Brenna Cosette Shahasky. Janais Colon Centron. Jose Tulio Contreras Arazo. Deshaun Alexander Cooper. Melissa Cortez. Adon Cortez Jr. Gerardo Francisco Cruz Ramirez. Jeremiah Jacal Cunningham. Brock Daniel Daumler. Ethan Dane Demise. Brooke Lee Dennis. Christopher Diaz. Raylon Dinsey. Aurora Dorado. Elijah Cole Duville. Malia Jade Dunsworth. Rebecca Renee Dupre. Christopher Russell Eller. Dorian Del Rey Enick. Billy Escamilla. Kayla Marie Escobedo. Olivia Finley. Kendra Lee Flashberger. Esmeralda Lee Flores. Kayleen Flores Rodriguez. Kamari Fromm. 
Elizabeth Gagnon. Jeremiah Isaiah Flowers. <laughs> Anahi Garcia. Iris Garcia Ramos. Destiny Barbara Garcia Martinez. Bianca Giselle Gitan Sanchez. Alyssa R. Gim. Quinton Thomas Skellen. Kyle Stephen Patrick Georgel. Sophia Joan Gerbeck. Andrew Joseph Gorlikovsky. Taylor Morgan Gleesner. Marco Luis Gomez. Ivan Alejandro Gonzalez. Jackie Gonzalez. Damian Gonzalez Vallarta. Kristen Faith Green. Carla Jeanette Grijalba. Jaron Joseph Grolin. Edgar Alonso Guerrero de la Ortiz. Alexander James Gwynn. Brian Alexis Guzman. Sidlali Guzman. Jacqueline Guzman. Kaya Elise Julianne Halverson. Juanique Deshaunay Harris. Alexia Marie Hopped. Cameron Christine Hopped. Shelton Marie Hebel. Max Joseph Heil. Isaiah James Hermans. Marlene Hernandez Flores. Anna Cecilia Hernandez Morales. Jose Valente Hernandez Vera. Nicholas Dakota Hill. Jaron Dion Holloway. Samuel A. Yonke. Mohamed Mersal Jama. Aaron Nina Jenkwin. Zoe Ann Jobelius. Jaida Johnson. Dagan Cade Johnston. Dontavian Jones. Jamel Jones. Saraya Kambandu Shills. Joshua Thomas Caters. Alex K. Darwin Earl Quape. Gabriel Timothy Killian. Koda Lee Kinjerski. Destiny Alizea Kirk. Jeremy Kivett. Sasha Joy Klug. Ryan Matthew Colts. Molly Ann Kosky. Cody James Kramer. Luke Eugene Krall. Maria Ann Keel. Javier Lara Jr. 
Desiree Ann Lawton. Ethia Chantony Lee. Is this my dua? Yeah. My dua Lee. My dua Lee. Connor Duane Lehman. Jose Guadalupe Leon Jr. Aiden List. Lydia Esmeralda Lopez. Miguel Angel Lopez. Norma Adriana Lopez. Osvaldo Lopez. Alex Gabriel Lopez Chiveres. Kalia Lohr. Jeremy Joseph Lipnitz. Kimberly Macias. Nilet Cecilia Mangana Mendoza. Matthew Maldonado. Shamark Abdullahi Muhammad. Matthew Maldonado. Addison Patrick Malott. Diego Adrian Martinez. Manny Antonio Mendez Rivera. Alex Mendoza. Caitlin Elaine Rose Martin. Diego Adrian Martinez. Ezekiel Martinez. Luciano Martinez. Stephanie Martinez. Giovanna Martinez Delgado. Avisel Martinez Hernandez. Hunter Danny McGowan. Demarcus Coda McGraw. Mariah McKeefrey. Leslie Michelle Mendoza. Marisol Mendoza. Savannah, Missouri. Ryan Alexander Mikulski. Evelyn Morales Martinez. Julia Elizabeth Malinzek. <laughs> Mohammed Amin Ali Mohammed. <laughs> Samuel Ellis Morin. <laughs> Aurora Melissa Moreno Sanchez. Christopher Robert Morris. Sally Mosqueda. Francis Mua. Bidmar Moya. Jose Augusto Nieve de la Rosa. Allison Nelson. Morgan Amber Nemechek. Mason Eric Knorr. Ignacio de Refugio Nungaray Torres. Zamzam Noor. 
Alyssa Marie Olson. Hayden Thomas Ostertag. Angie Ariana Oviedo Urbina. Cheyenne Ashley Ozarowitz. Jason Allen Pomonacut. Cornelius T. Pulfus Jr. Vanessa Crystal Cavedo Gomez. Alex Ramirez. Danelis Nicole Ramos Rodriguez. Maria Grace Perlini. Brenda Cicela Perez. Nakita Lynn Perez Stevens. Samuel John Phillip. Alessandra Ponce. Van Forrest Pazarski. Michelangelo Montero. Okay. Osmar Herberto Morales. Really Rayleigh really Reed. Yeah. Allison May Reberg. Yeah. Michael Resendez. Fernando Arturo Reyes Zapote. McKenna Elizabeth Reynolds. <laughs> Emily Robles. <laughs> Christian Alexis Rivera. <laughs> Eliada Bergen Rodehaver. Sandra Maria Lee Rodriguez. Lizbeth Elena Rodriguez Diaz. Efren Rodriguez Sanchez. Janelle Romero. David Francisco Rosales Diaz. Rolando John Rubio. Christina Ruvalcaba Rodriguez. Edgar Sanchez. Lizeth Sarai Sanchez. Roberto Sanchez. Sunny A. Sanchez. Maria Irene Sanchez Mora. Jennifer Sanchez Sanchez. Karina Abigail Santiago Macias. Anthony Shina. Alicia Rose Schrader. Griffin Paul Schultz. Carson Richard Shunky. Treshawn David Scott. Elijah David Surgat. <laughs> Brian Sikairo Steros. 
Ryan David Sielski. Elias Del Socorro Sierra. Sky Marie Smith. Jared Michael Smarawa. Jacob Buali Song. Dantasia Stewart. Alejandro Suarez Martinez. Abigail Mary Swisher. Aiden Ku Tao. Autumn Maisi Tao. Vincent Yingpeng Tao. Sierra Faith Tishley. Jacob E. Tolliver Marks. Janelli Lisette Torres Guzman. Myron Anthony Turtala. Matthew Tremblay. Guadalupe Trevino. Davion C. Turner. Claudia Valdez. Eddie Valentin. Emmy Susan Van Driel. Hannah Jane Van Boxel. Mitchell Charles Van and Hulo. Annie Vang. Annie Vang. Elijah Fuchi Vang. Rogelio Angel Vasquez. William Alberto Vasquez. Jennifer Vera Fonseca. Jose Ricardo Villagomez Gutierrez. Martin Villasensor. <laughs> Sethanon Kincaid James Walters. Cody James Watts. Rafael Michael Whalen. Rashad Akeem White. Sahara Marie Whiting. Garen Eric Wild. Jalen Michelle Williams. Carter Simon Ritt. Cindy Yang Zhong. Joe Guadalupe Yana Salas. Aliyah Sheng Yang. Angel Yang. Brian Yang. Kaylin Yang. Nicholas Yang. Nong Yang. Peter Feng Yang. Tua Yang. Seth Matthew Zellner. Jordan Taylor Zygert. Tanari Correa Hernandez. Marquise Tavian Gross. Miguel Mungi. Elgin Julian Lipscomb Jr. Alexander Perez. 
Zafia Jones. Family and friends, one thing before we leave the, the bowl. No one will be allowed in the bowl for any pictures afterwards. All the pictures will have to be upstairs or outside because we do have another graduation starting at 3.30 here. So there will be no return to the bowl for any pictures. Class of 2019, could you please rise? Please move your tassels from the right-hand side to the left-hand side. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2019 from East High School. Congratulations. Honor Guard, can you please help escort the graduates?